Okay, this is our dump gate, and we're operating the ditch this time. We're taking about 4 CFS of water off of this, and this is the extra. Now, this gate moves with the water pressure. It sets its position. So if a flood comes down, a large amount of water comes down, well then it'll depress it. And the water passes over without any damage. And once the water goes away, the gate stands back up and adjusts itself to maintain about eight inches of water behind me. Okay, this is our main head gate. Right over there is the jump gate, gravity gate. And I'm running some water through it right now. We're maintaining this water level exactly the same level. Now, if I shut this down, All, all the way, it just puts more water over the top of the dump. Same level. Now, here this is basically dried up. Now we'll open it up wide. out this little pond here. I've got full flow, probably 7 CFM, 6 CFM. And the water is almost stopped. So we have a full head going down the ditch, plus a little extra. And we virtually dried out our overflow. Again, still maintaining the same head of water above this head gate. So it's a predictable flow. And now I'm going to set the gate down to our standard amount. And that it'll hold this about 4 CFS, which we use. And it's all done. Okay, a little more about the dump gate. The dump gate is about seven feet wide. It's made out of uh, 3 16 steel with a stitcher on the top. Good piece of angle. The springs are adjusted uh, to be to hold it at that level that we want, which is about eight inches. If I adjust them tighter, It'll just hold a higher amount of water behind. And those springs are, uh, are stainless steel. The whole unit is basically it's a bunch of scrap iron left over. Cost very little to build. Uh, the improvements that I would like to make in the future, although this works so well, it, it withstood the 2013 flood, just buried it, because the water came over over the top of this uh, head gate here. But it would be better if I used a portion spring so that it would be fluff and they would be totally protected. And it'd be a little simple, but it would take uh, more design work. I think that's pretty much it. Um, okay, we'll look at some other things in a minute, maybe. Okay, the hinge for this is a piece of rubber, quarter-inch 
rubber, the, uh, the sandwich between, which makes a frictionless uh, pin, and it also prevents a, a heavy hard hinge from getting gravel and rock in it that will block it. So, and it's worked for seven years. So, which, you know, I don't, I don't know of a, a better product that I could use. This, this is my adjustments on it. And once that I have made the initial adjustment, I only have to change it if the spring started fatiguing. I, the real big issue is that this does catch stuff, particularly when the beavers so are getting involved. And so if I was going to redesign it, it wouldn't have any pink points. So the it would run a little cleaner. And of course, with a torsion type of spring, so it is hid in the back. You still have to have adjustment feet.